He's a very special new addition to the homestead. One we've been meaning to get for some time. saw a man about a horse. Okay, not a horse, but something with horse power. We've been meaning to get a truck for some time. Wendy has been saving for this since before the wildfires last summer that caught us so flat-footed without an adequate vehicle to move our animals. This is Wendy's truck, and it's got enough personality to deserve a name. She's picked one out, and we'll reveal that at the end of the video. She's got a special sticker to go along with it. It's a 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty extended cab Lariat pickup with a 6.4 liter V8 power strip trooper. Why do I always forget that part? With a 6.4 liter V8 power stroke <laughs> with, with a 6.4 liter with a 6.4 liter V8 power stroke turbo diesel engine. It's a three quarter ton and it's got about 118,000 miles on it. It sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but I'm really not a car guy. So if any of our viewers out there are, feel free to comment on our choice or on what kind of maintenance issues we might be facing with this vehicle. We do expect the fuel costs and the maintenance to be higher for a truck like this. I mean, they are. <laughs> Don't film me doing that. <laughs> Don't put it on the paint. Bunny and a truck. What could be better? Hey, relax. She doesn't like it being yes. held like that. You're holding her a hopple. That's not a good way to hold the bunny. That's not a good way to hold the bunny. Poor bunny. Give me my rabbit. <laughs> One of the next things we'll have to start looking for is an animal trailer. Although we don't have to move the animals very often, it's pretty necessary to have the ability to do so when that need comes up. We weren't sure that we could afford a diesel truck or one that's this new. I'm glad it worked out because this is really one of the easiest trucks to drive that we test drove. I really like the visibility and the large mirrors.
Wendy fell in love with this truck right away. I kept encouraging her to test drive other trucks just to get a feel for the differences. But we ended up just always comparing it back to this one. And we went back the next day and bought it before anybody else could. I actually liked the way that one of the Toyotas drove a little bit better. For me, it felt more like driving a car. That Toyota wasn't nearly as high up off the ground as this one is, but our truck is much easier for Wendy to get in and out of thanks to these running boards. And there's something about the window configuration and the way the seats adjust that just makes it easier for her to see clearly and feel comfortable behind the wheel. And that's a very important consideration. This is an interesting feature on the tailgate. It's a step and a handle to help you get in and out a little bit easier. It had been a trade-in and the previous owner was a firefighter. We believe it had been taken very well care of. But just to be on the safe side, we're gonna have our own mechanic go over the truck and let us know what might need to be fixed in the near future. We actually bought the truck before the lot had had a chance to clean it up and detail it. We made an appointment to do that and literally just drove back now with the truck. So this is the first time we've had a chance to see it kind of sparkling and clean. I said before that this truck has a lot of personality. By that, I mean it's a truck that draws attention. For one thing, the bright red color really stands out. It's also strange for me to drive around in a truck that lets me look down on most of the other trucks on the road. Our truck isn't quite as loud as some of the other diesels that we test drove, but that rumbling engine will take a little bit of getting used to. It's got a pretty nice sound to it. I've never owned a truck before, so this is a big first step into truck ownership for me. Years ago, before I met her, Wendy did have a smaller truck, but she was always disappointed that it didn't quite have the power to do what she really wanted it to. I don't think we'll have that problem with this truck. Here's a pretty cool feature. Let me see if I can show you. Just in case the mirrors stick out a little too much for parking or for whatever, it's got this really convenient feature to fold them back in. We're gonna keep our other cars so this truck won't be a drive around everyday vehicle for us and we won't really be racking the miles up on it. Here's kind of a funny story that Wendy mentioned. On more than one occasion, 
She set her coffee on top of her Honda Fit, only to forget that it was there and drive away with it still on top. Well, this new truck is so tall that I, I don't think she'll be doing that. What do you think, Stormtrooper? Is this truck big enough for you? Yeah? We were looking for a workhorse, not a show horse. I think we got a little of both. Really, it's just a normal full-size pickup with a little extra power for hauling and towing. We haven't really put this truck to the test yet. We've just driven it around a few places, the grocery store, we went through the drive through of McDonald's just to see if it would fit, and it did. Uh, we needed to get a couple of things at the feed store, so that's the, really the first official trip for our vehicle as a farm vehicle. We just needed a little pine shavings for our goat shelter, and uh, some feed for our meat chickens. For week in, week out practical use, it will be nice to have this truck to pick up hay and other feed for our animals. It'll be great for hauling just about anything we might need around here. I was getting a little tired of having hay in the back of my van. I'm really allergic to it and having it in that enclosed space just made it difficult to breathe. Hi, Baba. Hi, Pretty. There's a bunch of little babies right along the fence here. <laughs> you came too close. Here comes another one. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Hi, the babies. Hello. Are you curious? Hello, baby. You are so cute and fuzzy. Oh, come say hello. Hello, little one. Hello. I'm so curious. Because I'm sniffing at you. I'm sniffing at you. So obviously these aren't our cows. They're just cows in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, the name of the truck? It's Elmo. I think it's a good name. Yep. It's a little silly, but it's a big red truck, so we can name it what we want. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can do the voice. Elmo, if you were a monster truck, would you be a great big monster truck? Or just a little monster truck? would be a little monster truck. Cool new red, Wendy. Good job. Okay, not a horse, but something with horsepower. <laughs> Why don't you like that? That's a really, really bad joke. Why? What else would you say? I wouldn't say that. I think it's okay. I'll maybe I'll do it with a little less enthusiasm. <laughs> 